Right guys, <clears throat> here we are, it's time for our first um, review, reveal, unbox, unbag, whatever you want to call it, type video that we're going to do here on DLG. And today we're going to be looking at a Game Boy, big fan of the Game Boy, um, and a small collection of games that I picked up uh, from eBay this past week. So let's have a little look, shall we see what's inside very fetching blue bubble wrap. So the first thing, um, which is a massive plus, we get the Nintendo carrying bag. Uh, very hip, very trendy, if you had one of these back in the day. I'm um, still a massive fan of these. I just think they're really nice to look at. Fantastic build quality. Even after the best part of 30 years, um, you know, it's obviously been looked after. Everything is still in pretty good condition. Good longevity on this. Let's have a little look, see what's inside. Okay, we've got some games. I'm going to come to those in a short while, but let's delve straight into the main body of the bag, the main contender. We've got our trusty game. Oh, I can see some paperwork in there as well. I'm going to move that out of the way for a second. Don't want to give away any of the games that are going to be in there. So there we are. The main man himself, the Nintendo Game Boy. Goodness, the amount of hours I've spent with one of these in my hands over the years. Unbelievable. So, let's pop that back cover off. Oh! Shipped with batteries. That is a little bonus. Hopefully, they've not been in there for years and they've not corroded. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful inside. It's so clean. Obviously, one thing which is a plague on Game Boys is leaking batteries that just leak that sort of corrosion all on the inside of these. But these are beautiful, so clean on the inside. Wowzers, really pleased with that. Right, let's get those batteries back in. We'll give it a test. We'll check out the screen. I think, if I remember rightly, it was listed as working fine. But then again, as most of you probably know, working fine. Powering on doesn't always say that that screen is going to be in perfect condition. So let's have a little look. Okay, we've got a light. We've got a screen. We've got no missing lines. And we've got sound. Fantastic. We have, for all intents and purposes, a beautiful working Game Boy. So we'll pop him just there for now. And let's see what cartridges were included in the lot. Now, I can remember one of them, and that's going to be... The one that we look at at the end. I was going to pop that one there. One, two, three. Four. Oh, did you just get a little sneaky peek? <laughs> Five. Here comes number six and number seven. Okay, so the first one we're going to look at, one that I've covered recently on the channel, both in a long play and in shorts, Super Mario Land. It's a classic, one of the first games out for the Game Boy. I think if you play the Game Boy, you have almost certainly played Super Mario Land. Some of my absolute all-time favourite artwork on the front there. Mario running away from his enemies.
Okay, next up, uh, we're going to look at actually a game which I'm looking to um, cover very soon. In fact, it's going to be the next game I'll probably do a long play on. It's the follow up Super Mario Land, Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. And again, anybody that was around um, in the early 90s when Super Mario Land 2 came out will probably remember the introduction of Wario into the Mario verse. The adverts with Wario's face with those spinning eyes burned into my brain as a child. Absolutely attacking my curiosity and making this game a must have upon release. And again, artwork, absolutely beautiful on these cartridges. For me, this is one of the main things I love about Game Boy games and collecting them. It's just looking at the artwork that's on the cartridges. You don't get this anymore, in my opinion. So, let's have a look. Okay, let's see what's behind door number three as we turn over cartridge number three and we've got Gremlins 2, the new batch. The game to accompany the film, follow up to the first Gremlins film. Um, what a fantastic film the first one was. The second one, probably not as successful as the first one. Um, I prefer the first one, uh, but do you know what? Still fun to play. And again, here we go with the artwork evil looking gremlin there on the front, probably ready to, to claw your eyes out. So, without further ado, let's get this game in and let's have a look.
Okay, behind door number four, the one that you may have seen when I was laying them out earlier on, we've got Mario and Yoshi. Uh, another game in the, the Game Boy Mario universe, for want of a better phrase. Um, perhaps a puzzle game to rival Tetris, something for the younger crowd um, who wants something a little bit different to your standard platform platform games, but nevertheless uh, a, a very strong title, a very a good game to play. And you'll notice uh, it's got the two-player icon, so if you and a friend have got your own copies, you've got a link-up cable, you can go for some of that sweet, sweet two-player action. Let's pop it in, we'll have a look at the one-player game. Let's have a look. Okay, behind door number five, we've got Krusty's Funhouse. One of the games that came out in the Simpsons uh, range for the Game Boy, uh, along with Bart versus the Juggernauts, Bart and the Beanstalk, and Escape from Camp Deadly, uh, we've got Krusty's Funhouse. Man, the Simpsons were massive. In the 90s, when they first, you know, well, obviously came out in the 80s, and then when they started to make their presence known on video game systems, um, in the late 80s and 90s, they were everywhere. There was a lot of games. Some better than others, some not so great. Um, but do you know what, for my money, Krusty's Funhouse, it's a solid platformer. It's definitely gonna keep you busy for a few hours. Then we've got the classic Bart on the front there with Krusty uh, getting eaten by man, mice. Let's take a look, let's see, let's see what it's like.
Okay, next up, behind door number six, we've got a game that came out a little later in the Game Boy's life, and um, we can pretty much say without knowing that this came out later because we can see that it was designed with the Super Game Boy in mind. Um, the Super Game Boy came out for the SNES. It was an add-on that let you play Game Boy games on your TV through your Super Nintendo. Um, and any game display in this logo um, meant that when it was on the screen, you got some extra bonus features. So perhaps it could have been like different color schemes, borders, that kind of thing. Um, so that straight away tells us this came out a little bit later than the other games that we've looked at. Game Boy Gallery, five in one. I'll tell you what, let's take a look and we'll make our own decisions, shall we? Let's see what the quality of these games is like. Thank you. 
Okay, last game on our list today. Now, this is the one that really sort of piqued my interest in the the listing uh, because it's not a game that I come across too often when looking for bundles uh, of, of games uh, to pick up. A lot of these, I've got them already in my collection, uh, but this one, you don't see it too often. I'm gonna show you what it is, okay? We've got Adventure Island 2. Now, I had Adventure Island 1 as a child, uh, a fantastic game, and I've, I've not actually seen uh, Adventure Island before come up in an auction lot. Um, as a bundle. Obviously individually these games sell um, but in a, in a bundle not uh, something I've come across before which is why I was really keen to, to pick up this uh, this bundle okay so let's get it in the machine let's get it on the screen and let's have a look So there we go, there's our um, Game Boy, our seven games that we got in uh, in this latest lot. Got a couple of cases as well, which is always a bonus. I often wonder uh, what's happened to, uh, you know, all these game cases, because originally every game would have come with one of these. There must be a lot of these out in the wild, in landfill, without uh, their accompanying games. Now, the last thing we're gonna look at uh, today and I actually didn't realize that some of these things were going to be in this bag is some um, documentation some bonus work some bonus things in uh, at a case so let's take a quick look let's see what we've got we've got a survey okay so Hudson Soft I know is the developer for Super Adventure Island 2 so we've got a um, a survey asking where it was purchased, who it was purchased by, and some short questions asking you what kind of games you're into. 
probably looking uh, for some, you know, information for, for future games. So, absolute bonus. We've got an instruction manual for Mario and Yoshi. It's a pretty nice condition. Tells you how to play the game. I think the one thing about Mario and Yoshi is it's quite an easy game to pick up and play. Um, you can have quite a lot of fun playing it. And if you can get into the two-player game, just adds that extra, extra element. Uh, ooh, we've got a poster. Let's see. Let's see if we can figure out what this would have come with based on what games are on display. Okay, so we've got lots of games that came out towards uh, the latter stages of the Game Boy's life when we started really pushing the the Super Game Boy. Because I know Donkey Kong Land, uh, extra features for the Super Game Boy. Wario Blast here we can see. Super Game Boy, Super Game Boy. And Space Invaders Super Game Boy. So probably something that would have come with the five in one. But a lovely poster. And then we've got some games for the Super NES on the back. Again, big fan of the Super Nintendo when I was younger. In fact, I'm still a big fan of it now. Um, what a cracking console that is. And then, lastly, what have we got here? We've got health and safety information sheet. Just explaining uh, about epilepsy and, and being sort of mindful of straining your eyesight and things and being careful when playing video games. So there we go. Happy days. Well, what a fantastic lot. I'm going to uh, pop Super Island 2 back in the system, in the machine, and have a good old play on that. Just one last thing before we uh, shoot off to play our game. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, like our videos, leave a comment, let us know what you think, and if there are any games that you would like us to look at in the future, anything that you've loved and lost video games wise in the past, or you're adding to your wish list to pick up at some point in the future. Um, see you next time.